let's continue our discussion about how to teach writing as a skill one of the components of teaching if effectively writing skill is to plan a writing course this is the main module and within this module we will have a number of other modules to discuss how we can plan an effective l2 writing course and what are its chief characteristics what are its chief elements and how we can incorporate those elements into second language writing classroom so as i have been discussing it um throughout the uh, course that teaching se second language writing especially writing in the pakistani context is the most difficult skill why because there are a number of factors which may um affect students ability to write and one of those um facets is the i uh, the notion of putting ideas into a readable text so what why we have been facing so many problems in terms of teaching writing effectively is maybe we treat it as a product not as a process and within the process approach we'll have to carefully design the course we'll have to carefully plan the course and while planning the course we'll have to focus specially on the higher level and lower level skills by higher level i mean uh, the global content how to put the ideas into a readable text by higher level i mean overall organization overall structure and how to write the first draft then uh, revise it self edit it or edit it in the face of the teacher written comments or the oral feedback and lower level skills are the skills of punctuation mechanical errors or grammatical accuracy so we'll have to take these into account while we teach uh, writing as as a skill there are a number of questions which a second language in teacher especially english language teacher in the pakistani context will have to uh, keep in mind and one of these questions is what kind of theoretical strands we are attached with associated with whether we would like to teach our students through grammar translation method through direct method or whether we see uh, theory like theory of socio culturalism where writing is treated as a product writing is sorry writing is treated as a process so which theoretical strand will have to uh, stick to that's really important and this is um, here i would like to emphasize that as language teacher we'll have to tax our uh, long held beliefs about seeing teaching writing whether we see classroom as a community uh, or a homogeneous group so there can be an element of danger if we see it as a as a homogeneous group because we will see class as a bunch of students without their diverse needs what what approach we are going to adopt whether process approach or genre based approach within within process approach we'll have to focus on drafting putting how to write the first draft revise it modify it edit it self edit it and get the feedback from the teacher and within the genre based approach we'll have to um uh, uh think of introducing narrative writing argumentative writing class classification writing or comparison and contrast or are we going to adopt eclectic approach principled approach where we'll uh use those principles which work for our uh, polit socio political context cultural context or uh, ideological context and what will be the fo focus of our course 
whether we want to teach the grammar or fluency into writing. So we will have to keep these questions in mind while planning a writing course and what activities, whether we would like to um, teach them rhetorical patterns such as argumentation, classification, exemplification, illustration, comparison and contrast. So we will have to take these elements into account while planning a writing course. And how do we treat learners? This is really important question. And while treating towards our understanding of the learners, we will have to uh, understand whether we would like to adopt student-centered or teacher-centered approach. If it's student-centered, then we will be looking at the group work, pair work. Uh, we'll rather see classroom as a community, a community with, with diverse needs, with diverse strengths, wants, strengths and weaknesses, and how we treat learners' errors, whether we uh, adopt conventional method of correcting errors, which is to eliminate each error, and that might affect students' uh, positive beliefs about writing. Do we, how do we get students to self-edit? Self-editing is an important element of teaching writing. Self-editing doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. It takes a lot of effort and encouragement on the part of the teachers to teach self-editing. So we will continue to discuss how we can teach self-editing and which error to be corrected, which patterns of categories of errors to be focused. So we will continue to discuss. So key principles of a uh, writing course are uh, which will be the focus of our discussion within this main module of planning writing course. We'll have to see the course goals, whether the goals are aligned with the assessment criteria, which is explicitly told to the students, and the theories, whether we would like to stick to behaviorism or interactionism or cognitivism. And the content, which sort of content we want to bring in, what will be the focus of the syllabus, what materials, whether we would like to use authentic or non-authentic uh, materials, what methodology, again, direct, indirect, eclectic, task-based, communicative, and what activities. So overall, what we can gather from this discussion is that teacher's role is really important in terms of in in terms of imparting skills of effective writing to our students